everybody and welcome back to the Blues Not channel. Today I am back with another Sport Top Series episode. It's episode number 126 and today I am about to head to Santa Clara and I am going to be going to Steven Stadium, also known as Buckshire Field, to watch a college soccer game between Santa Clara Broncos versus San Diego State Aztec. Now, it is still early days in the college soccer season and both of these teams are actually coming in to this game with a record of 2-2. Two and two. So, yeah, let's see who potentially could win this game to get their record back above 500. Let's go soccer! So I've just arrived here at Santa Clara University and this is actually not the stadium that I'm going to. This is actually the basketball arena for Santa Clara University. Uh, the stadium is actually right around there and I think you can kind of see the bleacher in that stadium where I'm going to be going to over there. Okay, so it looks like I might have just found the entrance of the stadium and I also found the tickets office. Well, it's not really a tickets office. It's more like a person right there selling the tickets in the table. But I'm going to be going there to buy my tickets and get to the inside of this match. So I've just got my tickets for tonight's match. And as you can see, both teams are now doing their pre-game warm-up. I believe these are the Santa Clara Broncos player and over there on the far side are the San Diego State Aztec player that is doing their pre-game warm-up. We still got roughly about 25 minutes before the beginning of the match. And we also had a couple of fans have already showed up in the stands. Actually, let me just go up to see how many people have showed up to this game yet. Uh, not a lot, probably around 50 or 60 fans have showed up for this match and watched the teams more up here. Obviously, we still got roughly about 25 minutes before the kickoff. By the way, we got a beautiful sunset over there in the horizon. And also, by the way, as you can see down there on the field, both teams are heading to the center circle. Just about to get ready for the start of this match. And now they swing this ball in, and it is going to be over the bar there as it's really the first real chance by either of these teams in the first shot of this game. But instead, they're just going to blast this one, and this is actually a design of play, and it is going to be a penalty. The referee points to the spot as the Aztec has won themselves a penalty. It was a handball on one of the Broncos player. Here's the penalty for San Diego State. A big chance for them to get the opening goal of this game. See if the goalkeeper could potentially keep this at a nil-nil draw. Well, San Diego State gets the first goal here, and it's off the post! Well, in the end, it wasn't the goalkeeper that didn't save it. It was the post that was able to prevent San Diego State to get the first goal from the penalty spot. Here comes San Diego State here as they cross this one in and it is going to be saved by the keeper. Although the ball is not clear all the way as this one is going to be in the box and that is going to be another save there. And a much easier save that is from the goalkeeper. Certainly the fans are appreciate the goalkeeper by making that double stay. There's a free kick for the Broncos as this one's going to actually be taken right near the corner flag. So this is pretty much a corner here for the Broncos as the ball comes in here and it is in the back of the net there as the Broncos has taken a 1-0 lead here. Well, it was a nicely quick ball there into the box and found one of his teammates there in the back post who basically tapped it in and just like that Santa Clara Broncos take a one nothing lead over San Diego State Aztecs. Down to the last minute off this first half here. Now the wall kind of moved a little bit forward there. So here comes the free kick again. Well, it's a disappointing free kick there. Five, four, three, Two, one, zero. And that's the end of the first half. 
have time here at Stevens Stadium, also known as Buckshaw Field. It is Santa Clara Broncos 1, San Diego State Aztec nothing. So it's half time here as it is a 1 nothing lead in favor of Santa Clara Broncos over San Diego State Aztec. And the only goal of this game came in the 37th minute and it was actually off of a set piece. But the Aztec actually had a chance to get the opening goal in this game. And, you know, in the 13th minute, they of course won themselves a penalty and looked like they were going to go up one nothing early in this game but the penalty taker smacked that one off the post and that the game of course stayed at nil nil before as i mentioned the broncos got that opening goal in the 37 minutes off of that free kick is a lovely delivery and also a lovely fit flick by that player to basically flicked it to his teammate in the back post that basically tapped that one in for the opening goal of this first half but yeah let's see how this second half is going to look like you know so far in this first half there hasn't really been a lot of chances that has happened and that you know it's been relatively a boring first half but let's see if the second half will pick up here in this game and now it looks like some of the player is coming back on the pitch and i believe these are the santa clara broncos players coming back on the pitch as we're just about to get ready for the start of the second half Oh, and that one's given away, and here comes San Diego State. And he's going to go for goal here, and it is going to be wide there. As looks like the goalkeeper read that one all the way. He's trying to feed it off that player, trying to get by a couple of defender here. And in the end, that one is going to gather by the goalkeeper there. It's definitely a nice, decent run there by that attacker to get by a couple of defender. But in the end... Didn't really put a lot of power into that shot. Broncos are looking to try to reset play, and actually they're going to go all the way back to the goalkeeper. This time he had his much cleaner touch, but now there could be a problem here as that is going to be a free kick, and I think this might be a red card here because he is the last, that goalkeeper was the last defender, and indeed it is. It is going to be a red card here as... Well, I'll tell you what, a couple of minutes ago, that goalkeeper made a similar mistake where it was a back pass where he kind of mistouched it. And then that time he was just trying to be a little bit too cute there and gave the ball away. And in the end, he, of course, pulled down that Broncos player. And because of that, he is now going to be sent off. And we're also going to have another goalkeeper for the Aztec. And... He's going to be replacing the sent-off goalkeeper and one of the outfielder for the Broncos will have to be sacrificed because of that. Here comes the free kick. As they dink this one into the box. And is that going to be a penalty? The answer is no. And there was definitely a lot of shout for a penalty there from the Aztec. As it looked like one of the players did actually went down in the box but i'm not quite sure that he went down too easily he had a player wide open there on the left flank now they're able to find him and it's a decent ball here he's gonna try to bring this one into the box and it's off the post and it is gonna be go at the top of the net for a goal kick bronco substitution number four demonio size into the match here comes a free kick. They're actually going to take it short here. And they're going to go for go here. And it is going to be hits the side netting there. Here comes the free kick. As this one delivery in. It's a free hitter. And it's in the back of the net there. And San Diego State has got the equalizer there. As that is a lovely deliver ball. And one of... It, his teammate was wide open in the box and basically hit that one in and well this is what happened when you're down to 10 men where when you're defending a set piece you're going to leave some gap and in that situation the Broncos lead a gap there in the box and San Diego State player basically took advantage of, of being wide open and hits that one away and just like that it is now 1-1 here 
Well, here comes the free kick here, and well, that one just flashed through a couple of Aztec attacker, and in the end, it just goes wide of the mark, and one of the players is down here. This score holds up. We would go to extra time. Gonna go for go here, and it is gonna be saved by the keeper there, and well, that was a decent save there by the Broncos goalkeeper. There is no stoppage time in college soccer, so once the 90 minutes is up, it is up as the ball comes in into the box here, and it is gonna be cleared away there by the that Santa Clara Broncos defender as that ball was just dangling on the line, and I'll tell you what, I have no idea how that did not go into the back of the net, and this game remains tied at one apiece as we're down to the last minute of this game. So going to be one last chance before regulation. Ten, oh, still kind of dangling nine, in the box as eight, seven, the countdown is on six, here. Five, four, and three, that one is going to be saved there one, by the keeper. Zero. And that is the end of regulation. Well, that... That was almost a dramatic last second winner there from the Broncos, but in the end, that Aztec player or that Aztec goalkeeper made a big save, and we are heading to extra time here in Santa Clara as the game ties at one apiece. And unlike in professional soccer where this game would end in a tie, and I would be pretty much start talking about what I saw in this match. We are going to be heading into a Southern Death extra time where we're going to have two 10 minute period. And the first team that scores the goal in these two 10 minute extra time period will win the game. And if this game does remain tie after those two 10 minute extra time period, this game would end in a draw. the Aztec again he's looking to try to get past that player and it is going to be Gatter there by the goalkeeper as make sure there was no scrap to pick up by any of the Aztec attacker the Aztec once again take it quickly on the corner as the ball delivered in and it is going to be over the bar there and well he had a free header there but he was kind of a little bit off balance as he was heading that one in five Four, three, two, one, zero. And that is the end of the first half of extra time. So this game still remains tied at one apiece. We're about to head to the second half of extra time and 10 more minutes for either of these teams to get a goal to win this game. That will not be the case. This game would officially end in a 1-1 draw. kick for the Broncos. So looking to try to deliver this one in. Free kicks comes in here and it is going to be clear the way there for the Aztec and going to try to do a little root one ball and that has to be a foul is it? Yup it is. It is going to be a free kick here. They're going to go for go here and is going to be saved there by the keeper. Aztec looking to try to retain possession and this one is going to be cleared there on the left side. Still another chance here for the Aztecs. They're looking to recycle play. Now they cross this one into the back poles and it's going to be cleared away momentarily. And now he's trying to go for a little curler and it is going to go behind for a goal kick despite the fact that the Aztec player are protesting and think that they actually got all a touch off of one of the Broncos defender. Four, three, two, one, and zero. And there it is. There is the full time whistle. And after 110 minutes soccer here in Santa Clara, it ends honors even between and Santa Clara Broncos and San Diego State Aztec. Both team ties up at one apiece.
So just finished here at Steven Stadium, also known as Buckshaw Field, as in the end, it ends in a 1-1 draw between San Diego State Aztec and Santa Clara Broncos. And overall, the Broncos are going to be definitely the happier side in this draw, considering the fact that for the last 45 minutes of this 110 minutes of soccer matches, they were down to 10 men and they had to absorb a ton of pressure from the Aztec. And that, you know, in many ways, the Aztec is going to be very disappointed with this draw with just so many clear-cut chances that they had in this game, but still they weren't able to find that crucial 